Hello everybody, this is Simon with the 15th episode of Let's Play Mega Man 6. Valley 3 means refights, we all know that. Before that, a short little stage though. It's actually pretty nice precisely because it is short. Our gimmick this time are those fans here. They're only used in this little portion and I'm very glad for it because, well, instant death with spikes sucks, movement with wind sucks, and water physics don't help the case. Here, blind jump, you kind of really have to know that the fan is there. Okay, it is kind of obvious and the jump itself is kind of awesome. So, this stretch of level is pretty menacing because there are lots of spikes, and, well, the wind and stuff, but it is over already. They could truly have done more with it, but if they had, it would have been really, really fucking annoying. So I'm actually for once pretty glad that their creative juices tended to run dry in this game. So on the other hand, why the fuck do I have to use the chat here? It's just tedious weapon switching. I mean, I know that I'm complaining about stuff like that a lot, but I will never ever get it. But anyway, refights. I think I've said enough about the individual weapons and really there isn't much to talk about. Most of them are just fired with a strange arc and deal damage, I guess. So let's talk about boss fights. This game has fantastic boss fights. They are very probably my favorite in the whole series so far. Um, mostly because they have one thing in common for most of them. And that is, they are fast-paced, action-y, require reflexes to dodge, but are never hard in a way that makes you scream bullshit. So, even though I tend to have trouble with some of them, like Plantman here, mm, for some reason, um, they are actually pretty easy. But as with Mega Man 5's bosses, I've never minded a boss being easy, if it is entertaining to fight. And those guys definitely are entertaining to fight, because they have multitudes of attacks. Uh, well, Plantman is kind of a bad example, but really. Um, and they have a multitude of attacks, and um, you can interact with them in quirky ways, like punch them, and punch will always pu push them back a little and interrupt their attacks sometimes. Further proving my theory that punch is pretty much the best thing in this game. And also, um, generally the fights, as said, are pretty fast-paced, require you to move most of the time and not just stand around, and there is almost no pattern in most of them. So they're just doing their own thing and varying up their attacks randomly, and jumping everywhere, and you have to be on your toes to react. Even with Centerman here, who is probably one of the fights that requires the most uh, actually um, submitting yourself to his gimmick. Like you have to lure him to a certain position to be always safe from his flash, from his time stop like here. I'm standing correctly this time. Um, but even then he can also be pretty easily damage raised um, even if you don't know what you're doing because he rarely does the flash and then bullet combo. A Windman is also a good example for a boss fight that is really easy and could have been really, really tedious uh, if it weren't so easy, because you can hit him while he's sucking you in. Which is something I always hated about Dustman, for example. So, with the weakness is obviously a joke, but you know what I'm getting at. And generally, I far prefer a fight that is rather easy to one that is challenging but only in a completely unfun way. Like, Mega Man 2 had a lot of those bosses. They were just... Uh, you have to do the same thing all over again. You, For example, Crash Man. He's more or less impossible to bust a duel on reflexes alone because he's so fast and covers such a long area of screen. And here... One of the hardest fights in this game was Tomahawk Man that had to do it with a plant barrier. And it still wasn't that hard, but that's pretty okay. It's pretty okay, because those fights don't have to be absurdly difficult, in my opinion. They are at the end of a stage that, this being an old-school NES game still, can be really tough too. 
so there is no reason to make the fight obnoxious. And we've reached the end of our journey already. I think I've made my point clear. So time to fail a little at Blizzard Man because I'm really not good at him, I don't know why. Maybe because I'm taking the easy way out and just letting myself get cornered, which is usually a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, about the weaknesses themselves, a few little quirks. Um, Yamato's spare always pierces the shield that Nightman has up, you don't have to hit him from behind. Um, Plant Bear is completely useless at blocking the shots from Tomahawk Man. And uh, Windstorm pierces the Flame Blast. That's about it. Oh yeah, and we don't have a boss after the refight stage. That's always a plus. I think I've made my point on that clear already. So, it's time for the final stage, the final boss, the final final boss of the NES games. Next time. For now, this was Simon with Let's Play Mega Man 6 and thank you very much for your attention.